Hey guys, Anthony Pietroboni here back with another market update. Today's Wednesday, it's 3 p.m., one hour before the close, and I believe we're personally putting it in a lower high right now. If you take a look, we made a new high actually at the earliest this week on Monday at 41.98, and then we came down, traded down this morning, and my puts were green, but now they're not green, they're red, because we came down to about 41.50 and then pushed back up, and I think we're putting it in a lower high right now. We pushed back right to the, the, the 78.6 FIB, and got rejected and I personally think right now we're setting a, a lower high and then tomorrow we'll have a down day taking out 41.50 but we're gonna have to wait and see uh, I'm personally short ES right now average of 41.70 I didn't get any ads in because if you uh, if you're here from previous videos I said that there's a chance we could sweep the high at 42.09 so if you zoom out to the daily chart you'll see this high we made back February 2nd is about 42.08 with the high Monday we did sweep this high at 41.94 so um, this could be a high or we could be still pushing up for one more high. I'm putting in one more uh, short if we do push up one more time. But again, I think that uh, we're on borrow time right now and it's only a matter of time that we do sell off. So if we go back to the uh, four hour chart here, you'll see we're kind of making these these higher highs and higher lows. So, you know, basically just looking at this objectively, you would say, why are you going against the trend? We are consistently making higher highs. We're consistently making higher higher lows. So there's no reason to really get in short yet because we technically haven't broken any market structure to the downside. Well, there's that. But if you take a look at the VIX on the weekly chart, um, I said in the previous video that once we break this low, there's a high probability we push up. Right now this week, we dumped again, even, even lower, uh, 16.36. So now, honestly, uh, if we don't really end up going down 100 points this week from 41.90 to 40.90 by the end of this week, then there's an extremely high probability that it's going to be next week. So, you know, thankfully, I'm not holding any options except for the small position I put on uh, just a couple of days ago. But my main position is short in ES futures and uh, 41.70. So there's no no data decay. I can hold that position for as long as I need to. But again, my targets on the downside for this short. Our uh, first target being 4100 uh, into this fair value gap here at four, between 4997 and 4088. Um, that's my first target by the end of April. So that's about 100 points down from the high. I think that we're going to get there by Friday, Thursday or Friday, as in tomorrow or Friday. If we don't, then next week, uh, it, honestly, the target is for the end of April. And then I had to push out this target down here for 3980 to 4020 to May 8th. Reason why that target got pushed out is because that this target down here, where my mouse is, at 39.80 to 40.20 by May 8th, is based on the Dow Theory crash signal, which is basically where DJT right here, once we find the high, uh, from that day, about 20 days or so, we end up crashing about 4, 5, 6% sell off from the highs. So I use the smallest amount by about 4.3% and have it out to be about 20 days. And we made another new high on Monday, so I had to drag this out now to Monday. So basically from Monday, 20 days from there is where I see the target of 39.80 to 40.20 being hit. And you can watch my previous video. I'll tag it in the car cards up top. If you just click on that video, you'll see the explanation of the Dow theory crash signal. It's basically just a divergence where is the Dow and the SP 500 keeps making new highs, but the Dow transports do not. Uh, once the high is in for the Dow, then there's about a four, five, six percent sell off that comes uh, in the next 30 days or less. But if you go to the daily chart and we take about 4.3 percent from the highs that we made on Monday, that would translate to about 40.15 um, by May 8th. So that's my current target for ES. Uh, my stop is at 42.50. So again, if we drag this out here, my current short position is uh, 4170 average. So let me just get this right here. Stop being 4250. And then target uh, at some point in May is at 4015. So this one is about is about a three to one. But my first target is a one to one being at 4100. And uh, that's what basically we're targeting down here into this fair value gap. So this is the first target one to one. It's about 80 points. Second target is down here by the end of the May. So I personally believe we're going to see about 4,100 sometime in the next 10 trading days by the end of April. But then the ultimate target is uh, mid-May. By there, we will see about 4,000 on uh, ES futures. Only time will tell, but basically, we're just looking out to see if this FIB retracement is going to hold and are we going to respect this high and then continue lower? 
or are we going to sweep the high one more time, go to that 42.10 to 42.20 area, I'll get in one more ad short, and then turn down. But based on the divergences, um, honestly, it looks like we are really topping out because HYG has been down quite a bit. So this divergence keeps getting more extreme. And we did break the most recent low. Last time this happened in February when we had a top, we spiked up. But once this wick broke these lows, that was right here, February 8th, actually. And this was a four hour bar that ended February 8th at 12 p.m. So you want to take a look at, yes, what happened after February 8th at 12 p.m. We would go right here and we go to February 8th at 12 p.m. You'll see that we were right where my mouse is here. So we were at 41.33. Um, basically, that day, Wednesday, we rallied about 20, 30 points. But then, uh, you know, overnight into Thursday morning, Thursday morning, big dump down and took out their lows and pushed down below. Went from about 41.70 to 40.60. So we went down 110 points from Wednesday night to Thursday by the end of the day. And that's exactly where we're at right now. So that could look like us pushing up to where we are right now. We have made a high at about 41.87, selling off 100 points. So we go from 41.87 down to 4100, 4090 by the end of Thursday. That's if we have the same sell off. No, I'm not saying I'm not saying that's going to happen, but it's just a possibility because again, it looks like the same thing on HYG where we have been making we we kind of made this support here and then we broke the support and we're pushing up again. That looks exactly the same HYG. We made the support here, and then this wicked down, broke the support, next bar pushed up, and then Thursday morning, boom, big sell-off on HYG and on ES Futures. So we're going to just take a look and see if the same thing happens here, but we have about 45 minutes left in the close, a bunch of earnings coming out after hours with Tesla earnings, and then more earnings Thursday morning. So you know, we're going to have to see what happens, but I just want to give you this update. I'm just I'm still in my short, and again, my stop is 42.50. My target, first target, is breaking these lows down to 4,100 at some point by the end of this week. If we don't get there, that's okay. I'm just going to hold until next week or until I get stopped out, but we are holding strong here for this short because everything looks good to do so. So it's only a matter of time before we do top. Again, we're just watching to see if this is going to be a lower high or if we're going to make a higher high one more time before going down next week or this week. That's going to conclude this video. Thanks so much for watching. Be make sure you watch out for the next video coming up Sunday at 12 p.m. I'm going to give a new update on the trade, uh, where the market went, and just on some upcoming news. If you appreciate the video, just give it a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. Uh, I love the support. Let me know what you want to see more of, and I'll see you in the next one.